With just one week to go before the Minnesota caucuses, candidates in the presidential race are winning local endorsements. Top Republican leaders rallied voters for Florida Senator Marco Rubio, who came campaigned in Minneapolis this afternoon. Democrats, who backed former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, held an event to show their support for her tonight. WCCO's Kate Raddick explains how the candidates are making waves in Minnesota. Thank you. As a crowd of nearly 1,600 people chanted in support of Republican presidential candidate Marco Rubio at the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Minneapolis, the Florida senator said he would not only unite his party, but also reach across party lines with the promise of economic stability. So we are going to take our message to people living paycheck to paycheck. We're going to take our message to bartenders and housekeepers and people that park cars for a living. And we are going to say to them, I come from where you come, where you are. I lived and grew up the way you now live, and I'm a conservative, and you should be a conservative, because that's what's better for you, better for me, and better for America. A mile away, DFL city and state leaders were endorsing Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Are you ready? Do you have that energy? Are you ready to win that? They cited the former Secretary of State's political background and her efforts to provide affordable health care. She's more experienced, has a far better viewpoint of uh, the United Na Nations, the world. She has it in her to do what needs doing, to become the President of the United States, and to do the full job from day one. With one week to go before the Minnesota caucuses, supporters on both sides of the aisle are hoping for a good turnout. I think everyone's just super pumped up and excited for the caucuses. Thank you, Minnesota. Rubio has also earned the endorsement of several local leaders, including former Governor Tim Pawlenty and U.S. Representative John Klein. Campaign leaders say it's hard to predict what turnout could be at Minnesota caucuses on March 1st. Well, we will keep an eye on it. I have a feeling it might be interesting, Kate. Absolutely. Thank you. Minnesota is one of 12 states that will hold the caucus or a primary election next Tuesday. You can watch the results all night right here at WCCO and, of course, online at WCCO.com.